speaking of the extraterrestrial beings, the GOP debates, politicians, these are the aliens I hear. These are the people that are different from you and I. I don't know how many of you watch the uh, the debates or how many of you watch the um, Donald Trump interview on on I guess X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it. How many of you watch that Trump interview? It I think it's up to like two hundred fifty million views, which good for uh, Tucker Carlson. More views than this video is going to get probably. I'm only assuming. I you never know. You never know. Anyways, the GOP debates, uh, one particular thing came up, and they ha- I haven't talked about this on the podcast because I I looked into it, and I just, I just don't feel like I can do the topic justice. I would really need to have an expert on to talk about this, but it's the hearings in Congress in which they did talk about UFOs. I, I feel like it's a very important topic. But unfortunately, it's one of those ones where I just – I can't talk about it because I, I don't feel like I'm I'm qualified to do so. And I, I certainly don't want to spend my time kind of fumbling through, pretending like I know what I'm talking about when I when in reality I really don't. And most of these things, I, I, I don't, don't fully understand the topics, but I have some some knowledge of it, whereas with the UAPs, UFOs, and that – um, Senate hearing. I'm not an expert on that. So, in the GOP debates, Chris Christie was asked about UFOs and about the programs. One of the last things you expressed was stuffy politicians facing off in the first Republican presidential primary debate is a discussion on the controversial subject of UFOs or unidentified anomalous phenomenon as they're now known. But that's exact, exactly what happened last night. The awkward moment in the debate in Milwaukee, Wisconsin on Wednesday night featured eight potential presidential cam- candidates came when moderator Martha McCallum took aim at former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie to ask his opinion about a president's responsibility to provide the American public with the truth about the UFO topic. I get the UFO question. Christie responded with a smile. Christie was a good sport about the unexpected topic that was specifically lobbed at him, being queried for his own thoughts regarding transparency with the country concerning unidentified anomalous phenomena in the wake of intriguing congressional hearings on the subject this past July. He said the job of the president of the United States is to level with the American people about everything. The job of the president is to stand for truth. Especially coming from a woman from New Jersey, I think it's horrible that just because I'm from New Jersey, you ask me about unidentified flying objects and Martians. We're different, but we're not that different. The New Jersey connection is in reference to Orson Welles' infamous Mercury Theater radio broadcast of H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds back on October 30th, 1938, when a panicking public believed that hostile Martian tripod machines were actually rampaging around the countryside near Grover's Mill, New Jersey. And then it kind of goes on further to talk about the specific behind the, um, the UAPs. The Department of Defense is involved. It's a crazy thing. I really, I really, really, really suggest that you go watch that that entire. I think it's maybe two hours of of that particular person speaking to the. Um, I think it's the Senate. I think they're in the Senate or something. But yeah, the United States Senate Committee on Armed Services on April twenty three. Yeah. 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 Uh, all right oh last thing on this last thing on this i do want to make a comment about i did say that i did watch the debates so one takeaway that i had from the debates is one one of the the 
one of the two differences that I saw was people who, even if I didn't really agree with what they were saying, I thought what they were saying, they were either flat out lying about, or they just didn't feel, I guess a better way to describe it is I didn't feel like they were genuine in what they were actively saying. Um, But and I think that could be applied to literally every single person that was on that stage. There were some people who I felt like, yeah, they said that, but I don't know if they believe it. And there's others who are like, oh, they say that. I think they, I think they're a hundred percent in belief of that. Two people who I thought were, in terms of when they spoke, I, I was watching it with my wife. I I was at full attention. And those people were number one for me was Mike Pence. When he spoke, you could see this guy's been a pastor before. This guy's delivered a Sunday sermon. He was a, an excellent speaker. And that's a, that's a good quality to have when you're running for president because it makes people listen to your message. Uh, another one was Tim Scott. I think those two were of all of the whole night, those were the best and their responses to people and their outright statements when they were asked a question and then, then what they said as their response. I think those were the, the two best people of the night. Another good one was Vivek Ramaswamy. I think those three were the best in terms of ask the question, responding to somebody else's answer, or rebuttal of some kind. When they spoke, you listened. 